Hey guys, how's it going? So today we're going to be modifying a cheap plasma cutter from Amazon Art Captain Cut 50. It's a high frequency start plasma cutter. We're going to kind of convert it over to a uh, rudimentary pilot arc so we can run it on our um, CNC plasma table. So here it is. I'm just going to grab a screwdriver, get this top sheet metal pulled off. This line here, pilot arc line, uh, here's our air connection and then through here the steel braiding through the line is the other, is your main amperage carrying line. So if we go and we grab this line and check from there to here we can see that's our continuity. Um, and so what we're going to do is inside this machine it's high frequency start or high voltage high frequency start. Um, so inside the machine here, you can see we've got a little flyback transformer, if you can make that out, that gives us our high voltage that jumps in and starts the arc. And I don't really want that on here. So what we're going to do is tap into our ground circuit here, um, which where your normal your ground clamp would be. And we're probably just gonna, I'm probably just gonna go on the lug in the back, make a short little connection, drop it out through the front through one of these cooling fans and then uh, cut this ring terminal off this one and just do a uh, spade connector so we can plug it in and unplug it if we have to without pulling the machine apart. So how this is currently set up to be with this machine with the other um, torch. So this is the old torch uh, that we've torn apart that originally came with this machine. It's meant for the high voltage, high frequency start. Um, which if you're running on a CNC plasma table, you've got to be a little bit careful. You need to shield everything, make sure everything's really well grounded, or it can cause you some issues um, with your computer or your control or your stepper or servo drivers, whatever you have on there. So if we look at the other end of this, this is the end of our cable. This was the old trigger wire that went in so you could click your trigger switch here and tell it to turn on or off. But what it did is it ran a high voltage um, arc through um, down through our positive lead and it, it, start, it sparks from the torch to your workpiece to establish the arc um, and so what we're going to be changing that over to do is we're going to be changing into kind of a well basically a pilot arc system where if we look at our torch here um, and I'll get you zoomed in a little bit here so if we look at our torch, rather than having the arc jump from you know, our center cone to our workpiece to establish the arc, we're going to have that arc, that high voltage, high frequency arc, jump from our electrode in here to our focusing cap through our swirl chamber to initiate, to make, it, make a pilot arc to get the arc started. And so we'll get to it. So here's our ground lug, um, if you can kind of see in there, which you can't really because of the lighting, but this is our ground lug, so and this is our eyelet, the stud that goes through. We're basically just going to hook this wire into that. Now I don't recommend doing this to your plasma cutters or your machines, you can ha it can cause some, um, some issues for you, uh, but that's a risk that I'm willing to take on this one. So that's all it takes for the modification on that is to go into our ground lug in the back, hook our pilot wire up to it. Um, I do not recommend doing this to your machine. It can cause issues. It may become a fire hazard, a safety hazard, an electrocution hazard. Uh, so if you decide to do something like this, you know, it, you, it's on you. Uh, but what we've got is a, um, we have an old plasma cam table from the early 2000s. Uh, we got it for a really good deal at the makerspace right now. We can't afford to go out and buy, you know, a five or $6,000 hypotherm. Some of the downsides of doing it like this are is we can't, we won't be able to run our automatic torch height control. 
which for our instance, that doesn't bother us too much just because we have been having issues with our Z, our Z axis on the machine. And so we just want to get it up and running for our members and stuff to use. So we just added the wire in. We're going to come back here. We're going to cut this and put a spade connector on so we can remove our entire torch when we need to. So we're just going to use a couple heat shrink spade connectors for this. Um, nothing too fancy. I'm going to cut out about here just so we've got some extra to deal with. And the only reason I'm doing this is mainly um, so when we go run the torch um, and put it up on the plasma table and we get all of our connections and everything there, uh, I don't have to go in this machine, tear it apart back in the welding shop. I can just do it right here on the workbench and be done with it. I don't know what effect this will have on consumables. I don't know if this will work yet, but I'll, we will know here shortly.